Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing a little bit of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, we're playing a demo of this game uh, on my hacked switch as you can see, hence the white colour scheme. Uh, the reason for that is that Nintendo have burned me before with Switch games and I want to see if this one's good. <laughs> I, I wanted to show you Super Mario Party here because that game is also one that I purchased but it was a download so I don't have it. To show you right now uh but yeah i got that too <laughs> i haven't played this game at all um my housemate lyra has been playing it a lot and she says she's having a really fantastic time but she also says the game is pretty boring to watch as opposed to play so um and she's i think she's kind of right like i've been watching her play it and i don't really see it as being that interesting but if i actually play it it might be better so <laughs> Uh, let's just dive in and have a look. Um, yeah, I put my face in this corner because this is the least used corner for the game's HUD. Uh, I talked to Lyra about it. Uh, at the bottom you get your Pokemon's health and the opponent Pokemon's health. The uh, other way around. But yeah, uh, in this uh, sort of corner you get some stuff that's important. Uh, in this corner where my face is, the only thing that shows up is when you go from one area, like a named area, to the next, it shows the name of the new area in the corner. I will read that out, so you don't need to see it, basically. <laughs> I just realised I forgot to put on a projector here, so there we are. I'd be distracted by my own face for the whole thing, but now I won't be because I fixed it. Uh, let's head on in and see how we go, I guess. I've been told this game has a pretty substantial tutorial, so I'll probably be playing for like maybe two hours. I, I want to get a feel for the actual gameplay loop, not just the intro. <sighs> Presented by Game Freak. Does that mean they made it or not? Use your language. You cannot change your language selection later in the game. A bit rude. Now let's see, we've got English, we've got Espanol, we've got Francais, we've got Deutsch, we've got Italiano. Uh, that's Nihongo, I think. I don't know what the Korean word for Korean is, but that's what that is. And then you've got uh, a few versions of Mandarin, I think. <laughs> anyway, I can only read English. I can just sort of say the names of other languages. <laughs> um, I don't know why you can't change it later. That's a really weird limitation, but... I'm gonna go with English. When you see now saving on the screen, your focus is being automatically saved. You can disable auto save in settings. I guess I'll leave it on. Uh, sparkly thing? Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Who are you? It is well that thou art here. Oh, you're Harnet! Hi, Harnet! Oh, it's Arceus. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Okay. I have a feeling I'm selecting a gender here, even though the game's not telling me that. It just says select your appearance under my face. But I have a feeling if I pick this one, it'll say, okay, you're girl, and if I pick this one, it'll say, okay, you're boy. This has been a problem in several Pokemon games in a row now. Like, they added, they changed it from, um, are you a boy or are you a girl, because you can pick your race as well. Uh, but now it's just assuming your gender based on essentially how long your hair is, and, uh, whether you have eyelashes. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, I would describe it as pretty bad, actually. Uh, but we're gonna go with this one. What is thy name? The question just says, what is your name, instead of what is thy name, which is a bit boring. <laughs> Here we go. All is correct as it should be. Danielle, uh, sure, you haven't actually asked my gender yet. I have a feeling you won't. Danielle, soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. 
Hey, you, you can you can dial back the hornet speak. <laughs> the world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Daniel. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Okay. That's me, I assume. Oh, hey, my phone. Oh no, my phone is getting away. Pokemon Legends Arceus Um Wake up Oh do wake up won't you Are you alive my girl? Who who are you? I don't know what voice to use. That doesn't really answer my question. Who are you? Also, yes, they said girl. Notice I didn't actually pick girl at any point in that gameplay. I don't love it. It gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? Uh, Mario, the Doctor, uh... Jack of Beanstalk fame, uh, probably Pit from Kid Icarus. Uh, Link from Skyward Sword. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. I've been isekai'd. You don't, you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, it's a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure we'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I don't know anything about this game. See, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Uh, hello, hello, Rowlet. Boom. Wish plash. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I had just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon, and you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as though they, if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do, I've played a Pokemon game before. Hi, that's a relief. But you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? My name is Nod. <laughs> okay, oh ho, so you're called Danielle. I I is nodding sign language for Danielle? I that name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Yeah, yeah, it means, it means like, gay little horse. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize, having introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. As to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here, which... <gasps> They're running away! <laughs> 
Oh, Blast and Bobba, my darling Pokémon. Why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Uh, okay. You can look around. Uh, I can move with the left stick. I can click it, I think, to, yeah, toggle running. So, this game, uh, I do know that it is, it is quite different to other Pokemon games. As you can see, we have a free camera, more or less, uh, Odyssey Breath of the Wild sort of camera. Plenty of freedom. Um, we can sprint around as we so desire. You can press up on the D-pad for our backpack. Yes. Or well, something. Uh, game controls. Bunch of stuff. I guess that'll come up shortly. Look at the settings. Text speed is fast. Our camera controls are normal. Uh... <sighs> uh... I think those default settings are probably fine. I wanted to have a look and see what they were. I don't know why language isn't one of them. It seems like it'd be very simple. Okay, I can see something twinkling over here. The glowing, beeping object over there. step on it. There we go. Not a problem. We found something that resembles a phone. Probably your phone, but it changed shape. I feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay, so, um, Arceus has given us has converted our smartphone into a, a, a god phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's very silly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange decision or one of the first things to happen in the game. Is it Arc phone or Arse phone? It's, it's Arceus with a soft, soft C. Arse phone. <laughs> Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you came to my rescue, my new friends in the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first? Now, that one is Rowlet. Yeah, I know. I know about Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. True. That one over there is Cyndaquil. Yeah, I've played Crystal. Fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up when it's surprised or irate. Boom. Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott oh, naps while floating on the water and can hit battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Splish Splash! Oh my, I forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokémon. Here you are, my girl. Again, girl. Like, it's correct in this case, but you have no way of knowing that. Hmm. Pokéballs. Throw these at Pokémon to catch them. You obtained 50 Pokéballs. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokémon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, uh, but that won't do for explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. I've mentioned already that Pokémon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokémon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. Dynamining? Okay. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. If I was throwing them at a Pokemon, and... Why, that Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. I, 
but I don't think that's how Pokeballs work in any other Pokemon media. I, I, I just, I don't think this is, this is the accurate to every other... <laughs> oh my god. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know I've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. So far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack like, of skill in the area. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but don't want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay, come here, Oshawott. Yep. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokémon! Seems you've quite the knack of this Pokémon catching business, Danielle. It's jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Well, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokémon in the slightest. I mean, they're tiny and adorable. What, why would I be? They're a bit bigger, maybe, but these are like little baby Pokémon. Hardly believe it, Danielle. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokémon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. One more to go. We'll try to wrap this up sharpish, shall we? You could maybe have mentioned that, like, they're dangerous or whatever before you sent me out to get them? Oh. Ah, oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. Old girl. I'm baby. <laughs> Why would you say this? <sighs> go, Cyndaquil. Oh, there you are. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't let you... Bleh, they won't yet listen to anyone. <laughs> As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. I must say, Danielle, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm really good at pressing the ZR button. How is it that you catch Pokémon so ably when you've only just arrived here? This isn't my first rodeo. One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. See how it's all Pokémon. That object is an arse phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? You indulge me for a moment. There's something I'd like to share with you. I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokémon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Really? I have never heard of that before. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records for all the Pokémon to be found in a region. In order to properly document Pokémon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. In, enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokémon. The goal is to out every Pokémon, and mine is to have all those Pokémon caught. Situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? I'm, I'm not your girl. I'm I'm my own girl. But yeah, I guess. You've convinced me. And whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. 
We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Okay, uh, does the village have, um, medicine and, uh, uh food, food, um, sanitation standards? And... I'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Uh, if you're familiar with, uh, you know, you may remember Jubilife Village being a thing in this game. It might have been Jubilife Town, actually. Or City. There's a place called Jubilife, is my point. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, there's something in the sky. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. Okay. <laughs> kind of a strange thing to say, but alright. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokémon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. So tiny. <laughs> I'm baby. <laughs> called me young lady as well like it's correct but again I haven't told the game my gender yet <sighs> this way if you please people life village has come a long way thanks to the fine people of the galaxy expedition team this road run now is known to the locals as Canala Avenue. Canala Avenue? This village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, not many to do it. Since we know so little of the local Pokémon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. Oh, botheration! <laughs> Botheration. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokémon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Oh, I'll fit in great, because I'm one of those. Your ass phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Oh cool, an objective marker. Use the minus button to view the map on your ass phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination, information on your missions and requests. Also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers, then head for it. Okay, so... Yeah, we have a map option on the minus button, which is handy dandy. You wish uh, a map. If you press minus on the map screen, that's zoom out. And ZL is also zoom out. So, that's a weird choice. Like, I expect pressing minus again to toggle the map away, but that's not what happens here. Yeah, well, we can open up the arse phone now, anyway. Investigate? Like read this? Oh, Canola Bridge, yeah. Hmm. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflowers are Galaxy Team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh. So sad. <laughs> in the world are you? What's that bizarre garb you're wearing? Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy exclusives for clothes. Hmm. You to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. 
Was it Professor Lavington? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three of them got more. Three of them got away. To, three more of them just got away. Three more of them got away just a while ago. <laughs> I hadn't been rusting up after some Pokemon dropped me with a move called Thunder Shock. I'd have corralled them for sure. But the professor, well. Unfortunately, it's just Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Act. Everything will be quite all right now. Danielle here has agreed to help us out with our Pokédex. As in, she's gonna join the Survey Corps? I actually think that's a good idea. We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Gah! Oh, you're cool. Any individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of this galaxy gal of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. I guess that's their name? Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokémon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, he looks to be 15 or so. I'm actually 27, but alright. <laughs> Quite old enough to work for your keep. We can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without- Among us! <gasps> without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. Quite alright. Prefer to eat alone so may appreciate my meals without distraction. Hey. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Any old chum. The usual potato mo uh, mocky? Mocky, if you please, make it for three today. Mm. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mocky never failed to please. Did you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know of that great hole in the sky that people call the time, the space-time rift? My new friend fell right out of it. But somehow landed on the beach instead of where the hole actually was. Had a joke. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now you already know there are many Pokémon here in the Hisui region. Oh, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokémon are terrifying creatures. I mean, some of them. Some of them are Baibu. <laughs> all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. That's where Danielle will come in. Successfully caught three Pokémon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. I mean, literally all I did was press the ZR button a couple times. It's not hard. It means we can finally begin our Pokémon research in earnest. Really something. We count ourselves lucky we managed to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. Here to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. It seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. The Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider. Your captain's ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. Sure, we'll start to rein in the cat good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Danielle. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll have to worry about a meal again. Thank goodness for that. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. <laughs>
That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Hopefully relaxed about all this. Did you know we won't get to have Danielle join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial? Not to worry, we have complete confidence in Danielle's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Danielle, was it? Nice, at least she'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. If you fail to pass the trial we put you tomorrow, you must move on. You are expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Pretty metal. That and silence like a sui in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now now, she simply puts on a stone front to help keep us all safe. Anyway, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? The good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. Imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. With that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. I'm not super clear how I fell out of this rift that's over the over the volcano and landed on the beach. Still, people are falling from the sky. That's some kind of story. Head to the survey corps quarters you you've been assigned. Okay. I shall. Hmm? I'm gonna charge my phone. Like, like I, I don't think they're gonna have outlets compatible with my modern day phone. Sleep until morning, the futon in your quarters. Does an ass phone not need power? How does this work? <laughs> Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. Read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten? Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the little order to the save screen, auto save, blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, a nice little detail here. As you can see, I'm wearing shoes over here on the sandy part. But when I step up here, my shoes disappear. Uh, that is what you do in this kind of traditional Japanese house. You take your shoes off when you're walking on the tatami mat, uh, because, like, they're they're not they're not gonna be survive having shoes walk on them. So it's partly a polite thing and partly just practical. And I think it's a nice little detail that they put that in the game. You just step up, no shoes now. And yeah, we've got a very traditional sort of futon here. Let's have a look around. Yeah. Next day. Hey, in there. You awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Honestly, kind of strange that they gave me such a big, like... This looks like a dorm that could hold, like, three or four people? And <laughs> it's just me? <laughs> Considering, like, apparently this is, like, the survey cause, like, company housing or whatever, I would expect this not to be a room I have all to myself. Apparently it is. <laughs> Use on. You sleep all right? I know it's that not easy in a strange new land. You get a at some point too? Or better not keep Captain Silene right waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. Okay, I have my modern shoes on. Let's do this. <laughs> I say I like the hair of doing that when I walk around. That's the stuff. 
Feels good. <laughs> we are galaxy hall what'd you think ever seen a building this grand before don't give up keep those eyes open wild pokemon they they were everywhere attacking from all sides they're not my partner pokemon but against a whole pack outnumbered i love that show this is what happens when you go so far afield that the medical corps will put you to right you are do you realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out into the village, you could well die out there? Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokémon to be your partner. Captain Silene, ma'am, I brought Danielle. You may enter. Hello, I'm wearing modern clothes. Let us get straight to it. You wish to join the Galaxy, Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable of going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokémon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Ah, sure, I can do that. They're easy to catch. <laughs> three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Is this strange not just catch three different Pokémon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor weren't, it wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The LC team does not have the means to provide those who only take without giving. From each according to their ability. To each according to their ability. Not communism. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, but you, you, should, you should try. <laughs> you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey core satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. How am I going to get things out of that backpack? Do I have to move it around to the front? Or, like, that doesn't look practical. <laughs> Considering where it's positioned and, like, the proportions of my arms and stuff. It's going to be super uncomfortable. Ray, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ass phone. You can check the tasks you have right waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress on your adventure, while requests are optional given by people you meet. Pardon, Danielle, come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What do you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Daniel absolutely must pass this trial. As a Professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Ooh. Boom! Splish Splash! Go on, Danielle, pick the Pokémon that strikes your fancy. A partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokémon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokémon would you like to keep as your very own? <laughs> okay, I can, I can run a little bit of ways, but it looks like they interrupt me if I go too far. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm a, I'm a water starter kind of gal. Let's go wash you up. Splash splash! You want to wash your as your first partner? Yeah, sure. Oh, look at my little leggies. I'm just having a little lean. Hello, wash you up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Prelude Beach? Subtle. <laughs> Good job, tucked our short back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it, it's yours. You received Oshawott. You know, given how this game works, you probably didn't really need a starter, because you can catch Pokemon without fighting them. But I guess you get a starter anyway. <laughs> a word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Cook, 
Go. <laughs> Look at those two cheer on their pal Oshawott. Maybe this wanted to help Danielle with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Danielle fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry you two. I'll have you assist me with our research for now. Woo! Woo! <laughs> By the way, what species has Captain Sally in charge you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Funny Pokeballs. I had 50 before. Do I now have 70? Or... <laughs> These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. Have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. Straight the way to the obsidian field lands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. Mm. Thank you, on. Curious get up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the main character of this game. I'm Volo of the of the Jinko? The Jinko Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Heard tell about you. Well, from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, when you have a Pokemon, a certain full interesting surprises. Investigating the autumn novel is key to any good merchant's success. But what do you say? But you and I see how Pokémon stand up to one another in battle. Okay. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. Also heard about this trial you're, you're to attempt. Have a quick battle to put your blood pumping before you head out. I hope you'll know you'll lose if your Pokémon's HP reaches zero. Yes, I know how battles work. Inko guild member Bo Bolo challenged you to battle. Rugafi! Oh, baby! Go, Oshawott! Battle! So, uh, I can actually walk around during the battle, as you can see. Quite interesting. It's still turn based, but there's some changes, basically. Have better stats, so I should be fine. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Level up, new move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokémon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. You want to change the moves your Pokémon can use in battle? Open your satchel, choose the Pokémon you want, select the Change Moves option. So few people here have their own Pokémon. Only more know how to use Pokéballs. You, you just you just throw them. Not hard. <laughs> anyway, let me help out two battlers recover from their little exercise. And you, my Skyfallen friend, represent some potions and thanks. Uh, yeah, you're still 60 HP. And yeah, heal some Pokemon. Okay, okay. Uh, they're holding my hand a lot. <laughs> in battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Whenever you leave Jubilife Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone can get from collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it through this. You're Danielle, correct? I was informed to be passing through. The trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. 
Yeah, um, the game doesn't really have an open world. Uh, when you go to the edge of Jubilife Village, you pick what, like, what region to go to on a map like this. Uh, we are going to go to Obsidian Fieldlands, which is under my face right now. Uh, sorry about that. It's our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. I remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the press's stories about you are really true. Oh, Professor, something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Sailing got hold of me after you left. He impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. Doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Danielle's talents are the real deal. Go past with flying colours, you'll see. In other words, I'm still on doing responsibility here. <laughs> Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Danielle. Catch a Bidoof, the first Pokemon species you need for your trial. You're gonna ham hold my hand through this? I know how to catch Pokemon. Uh. It's Aspiration Hill. Gideon Field Land. Look, a bit of finding the Pokemon you need already. <sighs> Maybe some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Zack Captain Silene taught me. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when dot aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. If it's a mellow Pokemon, it means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully that your Pokeball will fly and you want to be alright. Okay, so we can Z target. Bidoof, caught. Now, on we march. I don't get why they're terrified of these Pokemon, they're not scary. Now, Starly, it's the type to run at the drop of a hat. Not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. Creep into the tall grass while crouch low. You'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. That's Starly Court too. I admit I'm impressed so far. Now let me actually play the game, please. <laughs> uh, okay, Shinx time. I've got to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. Oh, Captain Starly's wise teachings. Have an item be have ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Pokemon's ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. He's a real expert on these things. When you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Pokemon will hunt for berries and things and it'll bring back whatever it finds. 
Now it's time for your partners to shine. Reach your final hurdle. Hurdle. Catching a shank. Some bellies. Okay, so you can see in the top, in the not top, in the bottom right corner, I've got like items I can toggle through, and I can switch to my Pokemon, and then I can throw out all the Pokemon I've caught so far. Ah, tutorial. There it is. Thanks. Oh, baby. Thinks has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? Yep. I figures me I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they knock away any balls you throw. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up a Pokemon, up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X Fighter will appear if it's picked to fight with you. They see that you have the X on and you have to engage them in battle. Okay. Not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can then throw a Pokeball to try to catch it. Quite a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learned in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. Yeah, if you can see, you kind of throw in a Pokemon with button. Very, very slow. <laughs> Uh, I actually want to go in here and have a look at Oshawott's moves, because I believe the game told me I have an extra one. Change moves? Oh, I automatically equipped it. Yeah, the way this works, it's interesting. Uh, in, norm, in like normal Pokemon games, you have four slots, and when you learn a new move, it has to replace an existing move. In this one, every move you learn just goes into a pool, so you can reassign what moves you currently have whenever you want. Outside of battle. You can just come in here and, like, toggle out which moves you'll be using, which ones you won't. Like, I can go... Oh, I can't show it right now because I only have the two moves, but... Yeah, you can pick four, like, four of that Pokemon's available moves, and they're the moves you get. And you can just change that whenever you want. It's kind of neat. Uh... I think Shinx has spotted me while I was talking. Got a break line of sight. I'm trying to break line of sight with the Shinx, come on. I'm guessing I just have to fight it, I think I'm being railroaded. Yeah, I'm definitely being railroaded. That's a bit annoying. I was hoping to do it a bit more sne sneakily, but no dice. And then when you go into combat, it works like combat. Let's try tackle. Hopefully that'll be insignificant enough. Not too much. Sorry, Shanks. Oh, it respawned? Okay. It's already gonna fight me, though. I don't like being railroaded into playing the game a certain way. I know this is a tutorial, but it's very annoying. Okay. Oh, this seems to be now level 4 instead of level 2, so... I could stand up to my attacks a little bit better. Yeah, cool. Quick attack. Uh, items, breath up. I go all you. There we go. That's it, you caught Shinx. Wait, did you really you really did it? You did it! There's three species of Pokemon. Caught, you really are some kind of prodigy. It wasn't it wasn't hard. <laughs> First you give him Professor Lavington the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you can catch all our escape Pokemon one after another. I didn't believe the press's story until I saw you in action for myself. You are with three Pokemon before you completed your trial. 
Can I play the game now? It's only been about an hour. Can I play the game now? <laughs> mm. Oh, I said you passed the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Danielle. You're taking your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. Calls for commemorative photograph. But to admit it's true, we got real talent for this. Now then, let's report to Captain Silene, then head back to Jubilad Village, eh? Okay. Can I play the game? Please. <laughs> I want to see if I enjoy the game. I can't get this because of all this tutorial. <laughs> Eventually, she'll be able to have Pokemon your court go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Silene awaits our reporter headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Do you have glasses? Can I have glasses? I've never seen clothes quite- I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hun. Where might they be from? Okay, yeah, you seem to be a tailor, and I'm guessing I can get glasses from you later, but I can't yet. <sighs> First floor. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I had a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy. But she cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. I have a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. It changed the room you used last night, then you report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander, which is your first official order from your captain. I have to use the mirror in my quarters to change into my survey corps uniform. Okay. Yeah, that's, um, quite different. A uniform. Look at you in your survey core uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. I do wonder why, when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. You've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Need a little hat thing? Now present yourself to the commander. You? Second floor. Third floor. Some of these textures do not look good. Like, look at his clothes, for example. I have been waiting for you. Hey. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition team. Um, so, you were Danielle. Yeah. 
Hmm. I've been briefed on the situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Yeah. Wait, did he mean direct combat and not Pokemon bottles? <laughs> okay. The sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. I expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, someone will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Superstitious among us plans for your arrival as a portent of disaster. You passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Life Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition team and complete the Pokédex. I warn you, Danielle. Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Okay. Trial complete. Can I play the game now? <laughs> Please? The commander has also accepted you. Understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. Again, like, the texture, texture work on her clothes, because she stands so close to the camera, it, 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 it looks bad. <laughs> In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you'll move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. Working on the Pokedex will, of course, also bring you closer toward that goal of yours. You got every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One apricot and one tumblestone. And 3,000 Poke again as well. You have to buy the necessary materials. Ray, you're an expert on crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Another tutorial? Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. I know what crafting is. I've played a video game before. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. Listen to me prattle on. Go to the craft book so you can try it yourself. Okay. Let's uh, just let me play the game. Please. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anth Anthe? Anthe? I'm the local clothier. Rest for us, I read you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. An everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. You'll value yourself with the village's humble shops. Can I buy glasses now? Uh, I'll talk to you. Hey, hey, this way to the craft works. This is the craft works, and that there is the workbench. This is where you craft things. It's self explanatory, right? Yes. Yeah, it's not it's not complicated. I've played a game before. Find materials behind these Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. Spend that however you like. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can use crafting to make things craft. Done. Okay, at least that was quick. Oh, now that's some crying craftsmanship. Hard to believe this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. Now oh, powers shrink themselves down. And use the power to catch them. One speed can do look at Pokedex. Here you are. Got the Pokedex? Okay. There we go, finally. Alright. I read this volume just for you. Hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that are in this grand region. Search tasks. I'm gonna get going on those myself. Oh, please, please, please don't explain any more things. I just, I would like to play the game, please.
Hey, excuse me, I could help it over here. Going to the field lands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Quest icon? Alright. First, I'm gonna go to the clothier, who's over here. Hello. Uh, glasses. Varieties do you have? That looks good. I need to change my outfit to see what these clothes look like. Weird. Alright, look at the glasses. Thanks. That's much better. Down to check Pokedex. What do you want? Wormple. Yeah, I've heard of Wormple. You want me to have a Wurmple? I'm going to get a Wurmple so you can try to evolve it? Okay. Alright, I can do that. Anyone else want anything? Yes. What do you want? Okay, you want me to complete Starly's, uh, Starly's entry in the Pokedex, but you don't want to touch the Starly, they're terrifying. Okay. What do you need? Thinks for the ears? Man, didn't I already catch a Shinx? Can I show you the one I have? Yes. Here you go. Yeah, little cross pattern. Welcome. Got some potions? Cool. See ya. Uh... Yeah, back to the obsidian field. I'm, I'm not enjoying how much this game is holding my hand. I would like to just play the game. <laughs> Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? Great many research tasks. Okay. Yeah, you have to do certain things. Press the down button with full Pokemon focused. Okay. So the idea is like, um, to fill out the Pokedex you need to not only catch a couple of that Pokemon, you might need to just see them use a certain move, you might need to catch them from behind, you might need to uh have them use like a super effective move or something. I'm not sure what the tasks are, but the idea is you get more information about each Pokemon as you see them do these things. It's kind of like in Pokemon Snap, uh, where you want to try to get them doing different behaviors to fill out the four different stars. What's your nugget of wisdom? Dodge. How do I dodge? What button is that? There I go. What button is it, though? Y button. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I think I'm going to be able to dodge forward, but... We even just misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, the game already told me that, I know.
they stop talking to me. I know how to play. I figured out how this game works. <laughs> I need to catch some different forms of Bidoof. Uh, I need some heavy specimens. Oh, I see. I need to catch three, six, twelve, twenty-five Bidoof. Jeez, a bit much. It was not that hard to catch, but, you know, whatever. Oh, I guess I caught a heavy one just then. from me. <sighs> you are laying it on thick. Let me skip stuff. Yes, that's Starly. I, I know about Starly. Leave me alone. <laughs> I throw it all the way over there, will that work? Doesn't look like it. Hey, Shinks. Hey, Shinks. I actually sneak up on you this time, or the game just want to make, make, make you spot me again. quite confusing the way the uh, ZL button either locks on or goes into first person mode because they're very different actions and it's like contextual depending on whether there's a Pokemon close enough or whatever. Get me damn berries. Something new. Hello, I've forgotten your name, but I can I can see you. Oh, Weasel, that's right. Horseshoe Plains, by the way, is that what this area is called? Rude.
look like hiding behind something makes them forget about you. How inconvenient. Okay, I think they have forgotten about me now because I ran away a bit further. Uh, I'm busy. Yeah, I, I know. I'm trying to catch it. <sighs> yeah, the, the, the um, protagonist can actually take damage in this game. Uh, you can get hurt, it, there's no health bar, like the screen just sort of goes red. And you lose some items and stuff if you black out. Please stop talking to me, I'm trying to play the game. There we go. That's how it worked. I didn't see it use a move, but we can get to that later. it to aim with the uh, d-pad but it with the tilting the controller but it doesn't a bit surprising <laughs> hey Starly Hey, there's one pool. Been looking for that. Boop. Well, if you hit from behind, there's like a higher chance. That's why it has that special effect when you do it. Give me them berries. I think orange berries may have a different effect in this game. Like, rather than being a healing item, they're like. It's like a, a, a lure sort of thing, like throwing the apples in Pokemon Snap. This game does give me Pokemon Snap vibes in a couple of ways, which is nice because I love that game. And I love new Pokemon Snap as well, so... Promising. <laughs> Apricorns, which is good because we need them to make Pokeballs. Thanks. <laughs> the crafting kit. Oh, okay. So I can craft stuff using the materials I'm carrying. Okay. One Orenberry and one Medicinal Leak. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense.
Give me all in Starly. What a spoiled apricorn. Not sure what that does. Is this like an apricorn bit worse? without a little hiccup in the video there. Um, my disk drive was completely full, I needed to move some stuff around. Uh, but yeah, back to the game. Uh, we've been playing for about an hour 20 minutes, so probably 40 minutes or so more now that we're a little bit into the actual gameplay. Probably enough to get a good sense of things. I'm told this game is a lot like Monster Hunter, but I've never played Monster Hunter, so... I can't really comment on that. <laughs> it feels to me a lot like Pokemon Snap, which I love, and kind of like, kind of like Rest of the Wild, but also kind of like Assassin's Creed. There's a lot of sneaking around and hiding in hiding in shrubbery and stuff, which is also a bit like Horizon Zero Dawn. So uh, I, there's a lot of different games that this is a bit like. <laughs> Kind of interesting that you can't get back Pokeballs, even if they didn't, like, hit anything. They just sort of disappear. Lots of a problem in this game, because you can just craft more whenever, but... Still a bit strange, I suppose. Uh, how do I craft, by the way? You're going to the crafting kit? Yes. Like that, and then I can go... And make myself another 15 of these. Cool. That's how that works. Um, have a leak. I wonder if there are like motion aiming controls that I just haven't got switched on. It feels like there should be because of the way the game works. Let's have a little looky, little looky loo. Setting motion sensitivity set to zero. What if I turn it up to one? What happens then? Okay, yeah, there are motion controls, but they default to off. It's an interesting decision. I was like Breath of the Wild, for example, they default to on, and it's kind of a major part of how the game's controls work. Oh, whoops. I forgot to switch my Pokeball before I did that. Oh, that's alright. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Ooh, -doo. It's definitely a very different feel to a mainline Pokemon game. Uh, and that seems to have been what they were going for, so that makes sense. Kind of weird that you don't break out of crawling if you click the run button. Because that does happen in similar games, like uh, Breath of the Wild, for example. Uh, currently I can't go up this fairly not steep slope very easily, which is interesting. Thanks for what? Ah, 
Oh, you have to press A to get over here, I see. You want to wrap up looks at things? Get them apricorns. Horseshoe planes. Just drop back to the professor now and oh hang on. Oh, they spotted me. Oh, it's just a style there anyway. Aspiration Hill. Field lands camp. Hey, prof. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. Must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. Uh, survey reports. I save money based on the level and number of Pokemon I've caught. I get more money if I filled certain conditions, so I just got some speeds the first time. Okay. So I get paid for doing my job. Yeah. Eight. Raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, then if you complete multiple digital information to be had. Research points. I'll oh, high rank up from no star to better. Okay. Able to research from Starly and Shinx apparently. Uh, we're a bit short on the other ones. Oh, can I rank up? Yeah, let's get a star. <laughs> Jubilife Village. Lawaro Main Street. Get more clothes now, there's the same stuff. New styles? Yes, let's have a look. Uh maybe it's similar to the stuff you already had. This 
style of sandal looks kind of uncomfortable to walk with. But like, I guess it's meant to be more grippy on the on the surface you're walking on, like on sand or something. But it's got like these trunkers on the bottom there, like kind of like heels, but I don't know. It seems like that would be uncomfortable. Whereas these ones are a bit more standard. Let's get a star. Hey, I'm good at my job, apparently. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. First star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. New rank. So there's ten of them? One, two, three, four. Ten. Yeah, ten. How can I use heavy balls? Up to level 20 will obey my orders reliably in Okay, so the stars are a bit like badges. Looks like they unlock some things. Crafting recipes, I assume I can craft heavy balls now? Yeah. I don't know what they are, but I guess I can make them. Revives, I know what revives are. Let me play the game. <laughs> yeah, I got first star. Uh... Does this chef make anything but potato mochi? Is that the only recipe they know? What's on Beauregard hat? I've forgotten. I feel like I've... I did get everything I needed. I think I got a wormple and... I don't know what the other one was, but I'll have a look. Okay, it's all about the Diamond Clan. Yeah, let's have a little nibble, get some good rest. Someone here had a request that I've fulfilled. You wanted a shinx and I gave you one. Someone else wanted... Did you... was it you? Oh, you do hairstyling. Mm. What do you want? We need to finish Stalin's entry, that's right. Okay, and I did do that. Do I get my prize? Yeah, I'll show you a starling. I got a bunch of them. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> They've sucked me up in Pokeballs just by talking to you. Nice. Wait, were you the other one who wanted something? Or was that someone else? No, you're the crafting person. Someone here who wanted something. Uh, you. you. Yeah, I've got a Wurmple. I've got a bunch of Wurmple. Yeah, you have this one. You get to train it up. Have fun.
I don't love any of those names, but that one's a bit like Morticia from the Adams Family, so. <laughs> With some dazzling honey. I don't really know what that does, but thanks. I guess I can throw it out, but I don't know what, it, what, what that would gain. Like, why I would want to do that. Oh, hello. What are merit points? No idea how I would get those. The clothes shop, I already went here. I just need to change my clothes to something other than the uniform if I want to try out the different hats, which is a bit annoying. Here we get our hairstyled. Streaks? Oh, eyebrows. I have a lot of options here. I'm not sure if you unlock more later. It seems very limited. I think this is probably best for me, honestly. I love cutting my hair to make it longer. <laughs> One of my favorite ways to handle my hair. And now that I'm not wearing the hat, can I wear another hat? Yes, I can. Okay. Any of these look good. First of all, mask is kind of cute. Hey, a ladder. Can I climb the ladder? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Training grounds. A Pikachu. Oh, bye boy. Electric is good against water, but I'm probably fine. Because it's like one Pokemon and I have a bunch of them. And I'm probably higher level as well. I am higher level. Paralysis, huh? Very brave. Do I have like a paralysis heal? Yes. I think to stand in the way and block the Thundershock, but I didn't manage. That would have been cool. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Like you can stand in, in the way of attacks. I don't know if that actually stops them from hitting, but you, you can get hit by them yourself with this need. I 
Sphinx is probably a better physical attacker, because I'm slightly lower level, but I'm still doing more damage. There we go. Alright, just have more than one Pokemon, it's not hard. <laughs> Types. Yeah, everyone knows about types. We've all played Pokemon before. <laughs> oh, hello. You look cool. Sisu, Captain of Security Corps. Good advice? Okay, this is a new feature in this game. Uh, once you've, they've, they've leveled up enough, they master a move, which lets you use that move in strong style. Uh, which delays your next attack after that, but it does more damage. And there's also agile style, which is, it's faster, but it's a bit weaker. Uh, so, like, the turn-based, the, the turn system isn't exactly one than the other, reliably. It, sometimes you get two turns in a row, depending on how you play. Interesting. jump in this game. It's a little frustrating. No button for it. You need that, which is kind of like jumping. Hmm. Both Pokemon don't, doesn't usually let you jump, but, you know, this game has less of a Pokemon vibe. It feels like a game where you should be able to jump. <laughs> hey, Volo. Yep, I, I know that. I, I figured that out already. And with a special animation for it, it isn't hard to notice that it happened. Hello. Cricketot. Yeah, I think we can investigate Cricketot. Sure. What do you need? You need anything? Okay. No. We doing with Bidoof? Uh, research level 9. Okay, we do need to catch a couple more so we can up that. Starly's Pokedex page is finished. We don't need we don't really need more of them. Yes, research level 10. So don't worry about that one. You can just stay there. How about Shink? Shink's 
also done. I think the Pokeball icon means we've done them all, rather than that we've caught one, because you catch a lot more in this game. I think coloured in means you've caught one. Yeah, and, and then the Pokeball means you've done enough to fill in the, the Pokedex entry. Okay, we need more Breeze or we need more Wormful. We don't really need more Shanks. Oh, they were guarding me from going across until I reached first star. Okay. Hello. Oh, you're cute. Hey, my. Yes. Hey, Munchlax. Oh, we're fighting? Okay. I would like stab, please. Hmm, that wasn't super good. Don't spell tackle? Wow, Munchlax is strong compared to my Oshawa. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I'm not sure what's down, but I've got other Pokemon. I believe, yeah, if you press Y here, you can see, like, the order of whose moves will go first. And then when you use, like, uh, Agile Style or Strong Style, it affects that order, as you can see. Give it a Oh, so I can make revive. Oh, right. Yeah, this game has alpha Pokemon. <laughs> Basically, the big angry Pokemon that are harder to fight. Um, and the, the, the name comes from discredited research about wolves. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh, my arse phone. That strange thing of me of yours. Oh, so you know it's like a, it's, um, Arceus. 
basically. Oh, it's Cricket Tot. I like Cricket Tot. Fine now. Oh, there's some Stardust there. Oh. Light new mood. Uh, those are just Starly. That's another Cricket Tot. able to multitask, which this game seems to be a bit better at than some other Pokemons. You can, you know, chuck a Pokeball one way and then immediately turn around and do something in the other direction while you're waiting for that uh, previous thing to complete. Burmy? What's up? Oh, I have swords dance now. Neat. I feel like they maybe changed the damage uh, pro uh, formula a bit because it seems like it works a bit differently in this game. Mine now, Burmy. <laughs> Ooh, is that a Pokemon over there? Is that just like a flower? Oh, it's a flower, okay. I've heard of flowers before. What are you doing, Gia, dude? Get in here. Heck yeah, Gia, dude is mine. <laughs> oh dear. Gear track path. Now the cherry berries. I mean, yeah, I can give you some cherry berries. I can throw berries in your wild Pokemon and distract them, I know. You can be a bunch of Pokeballs though, so I guess that was worth it. Boizel. Hey, Boizel. I get that stick that's sort of hitting me. But yeah, that's the collectible. Cool. Give me that wood. Back 
subscribe. I guess that was a large weasel? I don't really know how to tell how big they are. They all look more or less the same to me. <laughs> I know that some of the big Pokemon are like really visibly quite large, but that one not so much. Oh, Engie Basil. That's an Engie Basil. Oh, it's Floatzel, level 31. Uh, I'm not equipped to fight that just yet. Mm, I'm gonna come back later. Oops. It's for fighting. Kind of easy to mix up throwing the Pokeball that's empty and the one that's full of a Pokemon. <laughs> I imagine with practice you wouldn't mess it up as much, but I have made the mistake several times. Uh, who can see me? I'm concerned. Ah! Oh god, big scary Flotzel. I understand why people are terrified of Pokemon now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Okay, I think we're okay. I believe later in the game you get like, uh, ride Pokemon, like in Sumo, that you can use to get away a bit more efficiently, but I don't have those yet. I just have to run on foot. <laughs> Couple of Starlies. The track path. I'd like to get more cricket hot if they show up again. But they haven't been. I believe the day night cycle is doing its thing. As you can see everything's become a bit orange. <laughs> Okay, I think we're at about two hours now, so I'm gonna kind of wrap up here. I am really enjoying the, like, main gameplay loop here. It is a lot more fun when you play it than when you watch someone else play it. Uh, as Larry said to begin with, <laughs> he was not wrong. Uh, however, getting into this game is very, very slow. Um, there's... A lot of tutorials and feels really unnecessary and inconvenient. Um, they could really have streamlined things or at least had a skip button if you've played the game before or you know you've seen someone else play it or you played a game before because I like I know it's different to other Pokemon games but it, it's not that complicated to learn. <laughs> Um, I also don't think, I, I think the Switch is capable of better visuals, especially in terms of the textures. Uh, they are very pixely on some things that are, they're not quite close to the camera, especially like people's costumes and stuff. Like, you know they're going to be close to the camera because you're designing the cutscenes. 
you, you could make sure that they look nice when they're close to the camera, but it doesn't seem like they... Maybe they didn't have the time to do that. Like, I have a, I have the feeling that, like most Pokemon games, this was incredibly rushed. <laughs> um... Which is very sad, because, you know, this is a really incredible idea for a game, and I think with more polish it would be an incredible game, but they didn't really have the opportunity to polish it because of the way uh, they're expected to make games. Yeah, it's just a bit sad. Ooh, Oh yeah, the crosshair in the middle does have a different appearance. Yeah, yeah, the UI does make it pretty clear whether you're going to catch a Pokemon or go and do battle with it. I'm just not paying enough attention to notice. You attract heights. Uh, I think some of the controls are a bit weird. The fact that if you press ZL when there isn't a Pokemon right in front of you, you go into this weird first person mode. Uh, whereas if there is a Pokemon there, you go into like Z targeting mode. It's, it's confusing and I don't think it needs to be. I think it's just more confusion than, it's, than is necessary. <laughs> um else. It would be nice to have more of an open world rather than sort of a fixed this is the current area you're in kind of thing, but I understand that there are technical limitations that might make that complicated. Although Breath of the Wild on the same console, you know, did just have an open world, so you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't think it's really a crit like a major criticism of the game that it's segmented into into areas like that because the areas are really big, so it's not a huge problem. <laughs> um, I think my main criticism here is just a, a lack of polish, um, which most likely came about because of the weird development cycles that they're forced to do so they can release a game every like year or whatever. Damn it! You get get in here. That's better. Um, there's also the, the, like, gender thing, where, like, you're picking what you look like, and that defines your gender according to everyone in the game, but... That's not, like, a new problem, so it's not really fair to criticise just this game for it. I don't remember if Pokemon, if new Pokemon Snap had that problem, though. Because that one's my favourite, as you may know. You get in here. Dantla! <laughs> I also know that uh, the Poplio line is not in this game, uh, which is it's a tremendous misstep because because Primarina is the best Pokemon that has ever existed. Uh, so it's just it's just a bad idea to not put her in the game. Just a colossal monumental fuck up. But that's what they did. Not in the game. And it's very sad. I have a good sense of where that Zubat actually is. <laughs> there we go. It'd be nice to have like a little uh, uh, ball throwing silhouette sort of thing so you get an idea of like the arc it's going to go in. That might make things a little too easy, but yeah, I don't know. Please leave me alone, Stantler. Hey, dear dude. Okay, something is actually weak to water for once. Here you go.
The controls are a little unintuitive. I'm tapping B because I want to sprint, because that's what you do in Breath of the Wild. But in this, it's to click the left stick, and B is the crouch button. I think that's like... I think that may be the opposite of what the controls are in Breath of the Wild? Because there is a crouch button in that game, and I'm pretty sure it's clicking the left stick. <laughs> a, little, a little strange to just completely swap those two things in this game that feels quite similar. But, um, that's what they did, I guess. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> okay, well, yeah, I think I've more or less said what I want to say at this point. Uh, I, I I like it. Uh, I I I do think it's I do think it's probably good, but I can see I, I can see the, like the cracks that have come in because there were certain like limitations uh, placed on placed on what they could create, uh, basically caused by time crunch. Uh, the graphics are a little a little underwhelming, especially some of the texture work. The controls are confusing and probably not remappable. Let me just have a quick look, just in case. Yeah, I can look at what they are, but there's no like remapping button. <sighs> the tutorial is just is just way too much. Um I know this is a new style of Pokemon game, but I have played a video game before, and they could really have cut that down, like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh... I think I'm definitely enjoying this, and I'm enjoying it probably more than I was expecting. Uh... I think it could have been something amazing if they'd had more time, but I don't think it's something bad. Uh, if that makes sense. Like, I would probably recommend playing it, but you have to be ready for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of jank here and there. I believe at one point you get a Pokemon that can climb up cliffs and stuff, and that simplifies going up all these hills to get the items that are at the top, but... Uh, the default climbing up cliffs physics is, is very janky. <laughs> The track heights, by the way. Uh. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's more or less my vibe about this game. Um, I, I can see how it would be something really special and really magical if they'd maybe had like another six months, maybe, to polish it a bit more. But from what I'm seeing, it's it's a fun game that's just not quite out, like, ready to take out of the oven yet. That's kind of how I feel about it. I'm probably going to get it, because it's super fun. But there are a lot of things here that they could have done better if they had had more time. That's my vibe. I don't know, maybe you disagree, maybe you think uh, it doesn't really matter that much that the textures don't look super good, or the tutorial is a massive slog, or that the controls are somewhat confusing, or... That Poplier is not in the game. I mean, why, why is Poplier not in the game? <laughs> like, once you design something like a Primarina, you, you have immediately made every game that does not have a Primarina, Primarina in it automatically worse. Like, as a kid, as a kid I played Pokemon Crystal a whole lot, and I played it again recently and I still adore it, but Primarina is not in it, so it's, it's automatically a bad game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's a game I'm probably going to get, but it's also a game that I can definitely see they could have done so much more with this. Um, and it's sad that they didn't get to. It's possible that they'll do, like with new Pokemon Snap, uh, they may end up doing, you know, an update that that just adds more good stuff and makes it cooler and stuff rather than doing paid DLC like like uh, Swoosh did. 
It doesn't seem more likely, but it would be pretty fantastic, so... Uh, let's say fingers crossed. Oh yeah, also it's weird that you can't change the language. Why, why can't you change the language? I, I don't think it's unique, unique to this game, I think it's a thing a lot of games do, but I don't understand it. What does that, what, how does that help you? What does that achieve? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, this has been Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, it's definitely a game I'm having a lot more fun with than something like this, or this, or honestly this, uh, but... <sighs> Crunch is bad, and, uh, Crunch culture is bad, and being forced to release games, like, every year and not having time to polish them up and make them as good as you, you imagine them to be is is bad and uh culture is the culture is just bad it's bad and not good and it's very sad <sighs> in any case i think this game is really fun and i'm probably going to keep playing it and i'm probably going to be buying it because i'm really enjoying it but there are problems. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I kind of ran over my intended two-hour playtime here. Like, I knew going in that there would be a bit of a build-up before the game started, so I allocated two hours to play it, but uh, I think I went over that. <laughs> Still, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you an idea of, I guess, what the game is like, or at least the first... A couple hours of what the what the game is like, and hopefully, uh, it looks like it might be fun to you. It does have the problem that it looks more like less fun than it is when you're actually playing it, as I mentioned, and as Lara told me. So, it's it's a little tricky. <laughs> um, it's a little tricky to share in a video because it's gonna look less fun to you than it is for me playing it. But I don't know. Maybe you can like, uh play it vicariously through me or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!